Today we are doing the sewn bind off, which is a really, really important technique to know if you're a sweater knitter. Um, this is a technique that was unvented by Elizabeth Zimmerman as far as we know, um, but it's a really, really easy technique and it's a great way to create an elastic bind off edge that holds its shape. So that's really what you'd wanna be looking for is, do you have an application of a bind off in a project where you need some elasticity to maintain itself on that finished edge. This is a really good option for you. It's also a really good bind off for garter stitch as well. It looks very good with garter stitch, but really you can use it with any stitch pattern, stockinette, ribbing, garter, whatever you like. The first thing you need to know is that this is a sewn bind off, so you actually need to cut your yarn before you start working the bind off. You want to have about three times the length of your bind off edge in your working yarn. So I'm gonna go ahead and Measure the width of the swatch once, twice, three times, one, two, three. And I usually give myself a little extra for backup because why not? And cut my yarn from the yarn ball and we're gonna be working directly into the bind off with this. So I have a tapestry needle here, a blunt tapestry needle is all you need to work this bind off. Let's thread it up. And to do this bind off, there are two steps and you repeat them all the way across your live stitches. So the first step is to take your tapestry needle threaded with your working yarn, go through the first two stitches as if to purl like that and pull your yarn through. Note that no stitches have come off the needle in this step. You're just going through stitch one and two on the left from right to left as if to purl. And step two, you go into the first stitch only as if to knit and you slide it off the needle, pull your yarn through and tighten. And that's one stitch bound off. And note that I just start right in on that at the very beginning of my row. You don't need to do any special setup or anything like that. And you repeat step one, tapestry needle through first two stitches as if to purl and pull your yarn through. It's nice to give it a little snug pull right there before you move on. Second step, take your first stitch only and go through it as if to knit and slide it off your needle at the same time and bring your yarn through and pull. And that's it. We're gonna go all the way across the row doing that. So through the first two as if to purl, slip the first off as if to knit. Through both as if to purl, slip one off as if to knit. And one thing to point out is you can actually be assessing the elasticity of this edge as you work. And if you're finding that it's too tight, you might want to lighten up on those tugging that you're doing right at the end of each stitch. And if it's too loose, you may wanna make sure you're tugging a little more tightly on those stitches. So. Mine's feeling pretty good. I'm pretty happy with kind of the tension and the elasticity of this edge right now. But if I wasn't, if I was feeling it was too loose, I would just make sure that every time I make step one and two, I'm really giving a nice little tug on the yarn at the end of that step, just to make sure it's keeping everything nice and clean there at the top. Okay, now you can see I'm approaching the end. I've got four stitches left, and I just wanna show you how I'm gonna finish this out. So I'm gonna go through, first two as if to purl, slide one off. I've got three stitches. Again, first two as if to purl, slide one off. Now I'm at the last three, sorry, the last two stitches. And I'm gonna go through both of them same way. Step two, slide that first stitch off. Now I've got only one stitch left and I've already gone through that stitch. That stitch is already secure. So I could technically just leave it there. I like to go through it one more time. Not required, but helps in tidying up that edge just a little bit and then weaving that end in on the wrong side there and kind of tacking that down as you go. And there you have a bound off edge 
that was sewn using a tapestry needle. We have a nice elasticity on that edge, but you see it bounces back. So it's great for a neck opening. It's great for just about anything, honestly. And that's the sewn bind off. <laughs>